Dave. So we've got a minor groove going here. Um, it's uh, the chords are E minor, B minor, A major. Stay on that A. Okay. Um, so about a week ago, I, um, put out a survey on the community section, um, and got a bunch of comments and feedback. And the question I asked was what are, uh, skills and, and topics that people would like to see featured on Dow Twang? Um, the last couple of videos here since then have been, um, about the cage stuff and the, the, the triad mapping. If you saw that one. You know, those are um, topics that I'm likely to speak about from time to time um, and address uh, either way. But I specifically did those because that was one of the most uh, uh, popular um, suggestions on there of what people want to see. And another one was um, like timing and phrasing, right? So that's what we're going to kind of look at today and sort of... Um, um, patterns of using, you know, scale tones that, um, you can use to kind of travel around and, 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 you know, it, they'll, it'll sort of set you up to just kind of, it won't automatically create your phrases for you, but it'll give you like a sense of, of, of being in the groove in your single note playing, right? More so than just saying, here's a scale, you know, and just mess around with that scale or whatever. Right. Um, and just real quick, what occurred to me as I'm trying to be more uh, true to these topics for you all is that when you see somebody improvise or play a solo or hear, you know, listen to music, guitar stuff and other instruments, but in our case, mostly guitar, um, you're hearing all the musical elements at once. You're hearing, you know, they're using arpeggios. They're using scales of different types for different chords and progressions. They're featuring triads in there. They're changing rhythms and using triplets and other embellishments um, and things. So, you know, you can't just make a video or, or talk about just, just demonstrate scale tones or whatever. You, you know, those elements are always there. But what we can do is spotlight certain ones in certain videos, right? And so for today, we're going to do two or maybe even three videos using this backing track. Um, and today... We're going to start by um, uh, getting into um, uh, a diatonic um, sequence of notes, a scale, and you can start and stop it on different um, 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 different notes, and it would be different modes and things. But try not to get too caught up in that. Just say we've got a bucket of notes, right? And these are the seven notes. Okay, and there's that D major scale is what that is. But it's also the notes that are in the B natural minor scale. Also the notes that are in the E Dorian scale. Here all those all have a different flavor, but they're all from the same bucket, right? That's all you need to know for this uh, uh, installment. And so what I'm going to show you is some ways to get you going with creating your own phrases. And the timing elements of this will also be addressed, but in a way that's kind of, you know, woven into this um, um, use of the scale. And here's what I mean, just right away, without too much more talking. 
So the stuff in the demo, like I said, it, there's a lot of things happening there, right? Here we're just going to spotlight this one element and um, slow it down. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, here's the long and the short of it. I was just kind of going back and forth and stuff, but I'm running along that continuum, that river of the notes that we designated at the beginning, right? Is these notes. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, everybody's not going to be able to just kind of do that by ear instantly, right? I understand that. So um, I am going to put up one picture here of the note sequence, but try not to, I'm not even going to name it. I'm going to take the label off of it. I think I have one made that's got, you know, it's labeled probably, you know, natural minor. I'm going to erase it all. I haven't done it yet, but I will before I, I finish this, when I edit this. And it's just going to be notes, right? And you can think of them however you want. You can relate them to a, a, a relative major key or, you know, uh, like I said, you know, if it's a Dorian pattern in one place and it's uh, something else in another, it's all good. The important thing here is that once you have that sequence of notes, that you move from your eyes to your ear. If you're not using your uh, eyes or if you're uh, uh, blind or you, uh, uh, some uh, uh, other impairment, you're, ahead, you're already ahead of the game, man. So um, let's say um, w once we get in there, get in that river, we just start moving around. Now, I did it all on one string. I'll do it on another string. to the string I did earlier. <laughs> okay, now this is fun. You know, I love this sort of thing, right? I like making games out of this stuff. Um, and, you know, it, it's not to just kind of look for these clever, they're not shortcuts, they're not, you know, it, it's, they're um, just ways of kind of easing ourselves in to this sort of larger um, um, uh, a, a collection of skills that you see being demonstrated a lot, right? And so, you know, and it's also, it's not just something to do as a warm-up. I mean, that moving around and kind of sliding and repeating notes like that, that's cool stuff, man. That sounds great in a jam, right? And if you just stay in one vertical position all the time uh, or a lot, you know, it, 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 a lot of times it doesn't sound as cool. So what am I doing there? I added some bends. <laughs> worried about like my 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 fingering you know form and all of that right I'm just a lot of it I did with one finger just moved it around like that okay so that's the first thing 
um, to really, you know, get loose, man. Let the, you know, relax when you're doing this. Go at a speed. The track will, will support what you're playing. You don't have to be playing, you know, 16th notes at that same uh, metronome setting that the track is, right? And do whatever you want. And here's another one. Now, this one does work more in a vertical sense. Let's take this sequence. It's just remember, that's just a segment out of this continuous sequence of the same notes. Everything that we're doing um, and that you saw in that demo was made out of those seven notes. So now I'm going to play uh, those notes. And I'm going to use a pattern um, that uh, I'm going to repeat you know, to just kind of give myself the feeling of cadence while I'm doing that. And here's what it looks like. Just, you know, stop the video right there. Use your ear. Okay. Um, let's try it with the track. This is fun, right? So um, I'm going to get you to a backing track now so that you can really work on this in your own way, okay? And, um, you know, go back and watch portions of this or watch the whole thing a couple of times. Stop it where you need to and work out those um, um, kind of routines. But then, you know, get to the backing track Put that thing on and really let yourself go and let your fingers do the walking, man. This is, this is going to be something that's really, really open up a space for you to be more creative, okay? And the only uh, uh, real source material I'm giving you other than the demonstration and what we just talked about is that one diagram of the note sequence. And remember, it goes off to infinity in either direction, <laughs> right? It's uh, uh, um, truly a continuum. Um, let me know how this goes and be looking out for a couple more parts using this backing track. Then we're going to talk about the chord tones and how to put, you know, more of a kind of a, a, a composition elements into combining these skills. This is the first one. Just stay real relaxed and, and see what you come up with. Let me know how it goes. Take it easy. Thank you.